Now, let us go through the two camps and the Cold War 1945 to 1991. The enmity between the United States and Russia, the largest of the 15 republics that ultimately constituted the USSR, originated from a long history of mutual distrust. Consequently, two major ideological and political camps emerged in the post-war period, the communist bloc led by the USSR and the democratic capitalist bloc led by the USA. While the USSR was promoting the ideas of equality and state-controlled development and suppression of opposition to these principles, the USA was promoting the ideas of multi-party democracy and private capitalist controlled process of development. The USSR had the entire Eastern Europe, Poland, Hungary and East Germany under its influence and many colonies which were gaining freedom like China and Vietnam were supporting it. The countries of Western Europe like Britain, France, Spain supported the USA. The two blocs competed with each other for bringing the countries in between their blocs. The first phase of the Cold War. A strange war was fought between the two blocs which began in the aftermath of the Second World War. It was a war in which the principal contenders did not physically attack each other or fight with each other directly and hence. There was no hot war which was fought behind closed doors through propaganda and words. It was cold because there was no large-scale fighting directly between the two sides. Although there were major regional wars in Korea, Vietnam and Afghanistan that the two sides supported. This cold war had created an intense tension between the United States and the USSR which influenced and shaped almost everything that happened in the world between 1945 and 1991. However, the Cold War was not just a propaganda war. It also saw real fighting and cost around 20 million human lives. The citizens of the third world countries, which were newly emerged countries from colonial domination like Vietnam, Korea, Angola, and Afghanistan were killed at a large scale. Eventually, this division turned to a wasteful war between ethnically similar people and geographically adjacent territories.